Let's do this. Astro Kids and their journey to the fifth dimension. So the garden is a 21 acre intentional community that prides itself of sustainability, egalitarian values, earth stewardship and autonomy. And today I'm going to show you what that looks like. But first, coffee. So what is egalitarian values? Well, one of the biggest way that we ensure that we're an egalitarian community, well, keep in mind egalitarian means we pride ourselves on equality. So everyone is equal, there is no leader. So how we ensure that is through council. And our council specifically makes decisions through consensus, which means 100% of the people need to agree when a decision is made. So there is no one like leader who's like, oh, I'm making this decision and we're all like voting or something like this. 100% of people have to agree with it, which means that if just one person says no, then it's not happening. And that's how we ensure that this is a fair and equal place for all people. Oh, and right now, it's council. I I felt maybe like mixed feelings. That was a lot. You know, often council is a lot. You know, it's the one time where we have it twice in a week where we get to really go deep in our feelings and the experiences that we've had here at, at the community being together, you know, and it's tough right now, most of all, because of what happened, you know, this whole TikTok thing and, you know, how Vice documented where we were, you know, brutally attacked online and misjudged for who we are and seen as, as, as something harmful or as a, as a cult or something like this, which is, you know, so far from the truth. And, um, <clears throat> you know, this has left a lot of lasting damage on individuals here and to go back how we were doing things is it, it, it's tough you know and it's it's council is is currently tough because of that you know where we're having to discuss these things and see how we are and how we're feeling again you know and then there's also other random stuff you know like who puts you know ash in the in the <laughs> in the outhouse instead of, you know, saw is like sawdust and stuff like this. So, you know, it's not all just some big horror. But yeah, council's tough. Making sure everyone feels, you know, equal. The place is fair, you know, it's, it's not easy. It's tough. But on the brighter note, the garden as a community is beautiful. So uh, I'm gonna give you a tour and show you what this 21 acres actually looks like. And first, this guy. This is the ketchup and mustard cabin. One of the cabins here at the garden. It's beautiful because it has this lovely view of the woods. Oh, <laughs> and here's the tripod I was just using. This garden. <laughs> Take this with me on my adventure. You just saw the kitchen this morning, so I have to show you that again. But there's another cabin here, and there's another cabin way in the woods back there. And this is one of the outhouses, compost toilets here at the garden. <laughs> you know, it's a pretty standard toilet, but the hole goes all the way down to the ground, and you use sawdust, not ash, sawdust, and to put on your poop, toilet roll, vinegar, it works. Ooh. And after a year of the feces actually sitting, you have what's in these containers here. And look how much beautiful stuff it's grown. You can actually use this after a year or two as fertilizer. And this is the barn. It's not finished yet, but hopefully soon. Another compost toilet and the camel bus, the community cabin, AKA the dog house, <laughs> the winter kitchen, it's beautiful. Wood storage, tool shed, tool shed, you know that guy. <laughs> That's how we shower, heating up here. And this is the kind of like scrapyard trash area. Good old school house. And the roof was actually made from recycled tire in his. This is the free bus. And inside, ah, we have a lot of stuff, clothes, broken guitars, and things that you can take for free. It's a water house in here. 
We pump water from the well. It's nice and clean. And this is the office where there's a signal booster, electricity, stuff like that, where I upload these videos. The cool thing is every structure here at the garden has multi-purpose use. So it's not only the office, it's also a hatchery where we collect rainwater. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> Here's the soon to be sauna and the dirt church. It's kind of like a building site right now because Julia and a few other people like myself are making a porch. And here is the greenhouse. It's beautiful. But it's probably gonna be a little hot here, so let's see. <laughs> oh! Ooh -hoo! It is roasting in here. You see, the ground is also growing stuff, which is pretty cool. But boy, this is a sauna actually. And that's the mud bus where we first stayed. The garden, no, the dragon bus, sorry. And back there, you can see the garden bus. There's the chicken coop where they sleep, hang out, rest, but they're actually free range, so they are somewhere out playing. And here's the lake. And this is where the mushrooms are hopefully growing right over there. Let's go check them out. Julia and I actually dunked a lot of these logs into the water and what that is meant to do is shock the spores inside to kind of grow the mushroom like oh okay the water's here let's let's grow out and you know there's holes drilled in and uh, the kind of spores are kind of like put inside that and when you put it in water they're meant to be like woo let's grow. So let's see not gonna lie I did check yesterday and I saw a little baby, but uh, let's go check on it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> a tiny little shiitake. It's the same size as it was yesterday, so that's concerning, but We'll see. What did I just walk into? We're creating something really dangerous, yet really fun. Slip and slide. <laughs> no, it's not the slip and slide, it's the pool. This is the catch for the slip and slide. Wow. I don't know how this works. I don't know, I don't know how this works. Let's finish the tour first. There's only one way to really appreciate all the things that we grow here at the garden. It's to go up there. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Oh, okay, have a look at this. And so, this is the garden. One of the gardens. Another one of the gardens and it stretches back way over there. We have blueberry labyrinth, we have a herb spiral and right over here is an orchard with beautiful fresh plums. This is a garden. All right, let's go check out how that pool's getting on. So what do you think? It's getting close. All right, there's the pool up and running. And we've left this gap here because the slip and slide is gonna run straight into it. So let's go check what that's all about. All right, here it is. Let's kick it down. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. It's not quite as easy to kick down as you think. It's too slippery. <laughs> okay, that's 70 feet. After reviewing the actual location of the water slide, it doesn't really make sense because it's not as long as we thought. So we're going to move it on up to the other side of the garden. Right there. Wow. All right, and there it is. So let's bring down the pool. Setting up like a barrel on like a stand. 
and then we can fill the barrel and then open the barrel whenever we want water. Yeah, taking a break from the water slide. I'm gonna go forage around the garden for some food, berries, fruit, the whole thing. Let's go. So our neighbor is actually letting us take all these berries because he can't take all these berries for himself, but we can. We've been making jam out of them and whatnot, but they're beautiful little raspberries actually, black cap, cap raspberries. And to me, they actually taste like ginger nut biscuits. Super weird. And this is one of the many plum trees here at the garden. And it's just filled with beautiful, delicious, ripe plums. Mmm. Delicious. What is it? Stevia. I brought this from Florida. This is literally from like a stem that started in Florida last year. Stevia is a thousand times sweeter than sugar. Stevia. And it's healthy? Oh yeah, of course, it's a plant. You got your phytonutrients. Naturally, I, I think it's actually, um, the, like the glycemic index of it is like zero because it, your body doesn't treat it like sugar. It just tastes sweet. It's not actually sugary, because it's just a leaf. It's tricking your tongue. And it, you get the, if you like the taste, it's either delicious or you hate it. It's disgusting. <clears throat> Let me try it. It's kind of hard to make your own sweetener because you got to like dry the leaf and grind it. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I love it. Let's see if everyone else likes it. Yeah. See if you enter yeah. from the other yeah. side yeah. and yeah. drive through. I don't know what happens. Like what do so you think, Jeff? In the middle of nowhere. Can you can try it? Not really. <laughs> Oh, are you trying to jewels? Yummy! Yummy! What do you think, Jeff? I just like stevia. <laughs> and we also have some blueberries. Wabam! Mmm. Wow. Bad in the store. Tons of bushes all the way around me. But blueberry. Blueberry. More blueberry. Even more blueberries. There's so many. But a bunch of berries ain't gonna kick it for me, so I have yesterday's da dal as well. <laughs> the flowers? Uh -huh. Jeff just gave us his suey snacks. And some kid just gave me this some snake skins. We got two different skins. <laughs> Taste the difference. Taste test. Seaweed skin or snake skin? Pick your poison. Oh. Woo! It's gonna be dope, but this hinge still doesn't bend enough. So we need a better hinge. I'll break that up. <laughs> Turned me into a blue rabbity abadai, but it's just what's happened to me. I think this could be good. Woohoo! Bowl that orange girl. Table for my oranges. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Marinara sauce. Ready? Let's slide. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so excited. That way you're not so worried about like, you know, smacking hard or something. You know? Right, right, right. Forward. <laughs> right? Yeah. Woo! Woohoo! Kick your leg! 
legs. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, seems like it has a few kinks. Tomorrow's problem. All right, time to get out of these wet clothes and get into a night vibe. <laughs>